to another one of those now. Is it officially endgame for Omid Scobie? His controversial royal book has been withdrawn from sale in the Netherlands because it named the royal racist who questioned Archie's skin colour. ITV News royal editor Chris Ship is here with the royals all at sea this morning. Good morning to you, Chris. Um, have the Dutch shared the name in their version? Uh, yes, is is the answer, Carl. Um, not just one name, uh, but two names. Uh, one of them is quite clear. I've seen the copy. My Dutch isn't great, by the way, uh, but I've got people to translate it for me. There's also a thing called Google Translate, which is quite useful uh, <laughs> at times like this. But there's uh, two royals uh, named in there. Uh, in the Dutch version, but not in the English version. Now, the author, Omid Scobie, says it's to do with a translation error, and he's quite pleased it's being fixed in, in Holland. How can you get a translation error if the name didn't appear in the English version and then suddenly, there it is, in print, in the Dutch version? It puzzles me. All right. Can you name? And can you name who the person is or people are? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not going to do that. Um, listen, there, there are two names in there. Well, if you remember back to when, when um, Harry and Meghan gave that interview to uh, Oprah Winfrey, they said this claim that someone in the royal family uh, had mentioned about Archie's skin colour before he was uh, born. They ruled out at the time. His office told journalists like me it wasn't the late Queen Elizabeth and it wasn't Prince Philip. And beyond that, they wouldn't guide um, any further. Okay. So, uh, look, the, the names are there. I ain't going to tell you, but um, it's not that far hard to find out. OK. Um, I feel like I want to say it. Is there any legal reason? I'm just asking on my camera operator, Haydos. Haydos, can I name um, this person or... He doesn't know. <laughs> I don't know what the complexity is. If it's just a, a translation error, um, why can't you say uh, the name of the person, who it is? Well, I, I, listen, I don't think it is a translation error. It's basically the, 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 the name of a senior member of the royal family has appeared in the Dutch version and it's not in, uh, in the English version. To me, that mm. appears to be more than just a translation error. That, that, that's either come from an entirely different manuscript yeah. or, 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 I don't know, someone was working on hyping up the publicity for the book. I don't know. I'm not making that accusation. I'm just saying, uh, how do you explain this? It's really difficult to explain. Someone just mentioned to me it might be a defamation issue and we, we certainly don't want to go there. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> And we won't. <laughs> I don't need any more trouble this year. <laughs> um, look, Scobie has painted a picture of a monarchy unable to modernise. Um, is this um, a fact or, or is that just uh, his opinion? I don't think it's anyone's, you know, didn't come as a surprise to anyone watching this. The, the, the monarchy can be a little bit out of date at times. You know, you, I mean, the whole concept of, uh, of monarchy in some ways um, is a little bit uh, out of date. His accusation, well, you know, this is in the title of the book, Endgame. Is it Endgame for the uh, British uh, royal family? You've got a, uh, shots of them there at a state uh, visit we had in London just a couple of weeks ago with the president of South Korea. Um, you know, it has its role. It's your head of state as much as it is our um, head of state. But, you know, th th this book has been written by Amy Scobie. You'll know he wrote Finding Freedom, which was very much the Sussexes' take on their exit yeah. from the royal family. Uh, and this is book two. Again, it comes from the Sussexes' side of the fence, if you like, uh, not the royal family's side. So it just sounds like a, another rubbish book written about the royal family. Well, look, a lot of people say, and a, a, and a lot of tabloids here in the UK, Omid Scobie is referred to as the Sussex's mouthpiece. Now, he always insists he didn't interview uh, Harry and Meghan for either of these books. And actually, in the court case, one of the many court cases that uh, Harry has launched in the UK in, in, in recent times, and, and Meghan as well, uh, you know, it was actually raised, did you help this guy with the book? Uh, and they were quite clear and said, no, they didn't. But I think most people, because of the way it's written and some of the information that he's got, most people are presuming that they gave uh, some kind of author or authorization to their friends uh, to, to, to speak to Mr Scobie himself. All right, great to talk to you, Chris. Well navigated after some pressing uh, by myself. Um, and all the very best. And if people at home want to find out who is named in the book, in the Netherlands uh, edition of the book, <laughs> you can find it on the interweb. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah. Carlos, I think management was about two seconds away from pulling the plug on this show. Again? Cheeky, <laughs> cheeky boy. Stop that. All right. And a new book on the British royal family has been pulled from shops in the Netherlands. A translation error has reportedly revealed the identity of a family member accused of making racist comments about Prince Harry and Meghan's first child.
for Kate, who's a mental health ambassador who champions the early years sector, including focus on pregnancy right up until the age of five, you would think that that might have struck a chord with her. But there seems to be just this distance that has continued between the, the two and does to this day. I mean, as far as I know, they haven't had a proper conversation in a number of years. Endgame author Omid Scobie says he did not interview Harry and Meghan for his latest book. So if anyone speaks Dutch... <laughs> <laughs> it's, one, it's one huge translation issue, let me tell you. We're going to reveal all uh, in the next half hour. Oh, so we're not going to problems. guess. We'll no. just actually reveal We're just going to give everyone the translation error. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?